Okay. I wanted to show you guys some of my spiders real quick. Um, just my tiny ones. I found out a trick to get them to eat. I didn't think about it because it was kind of gross. But I've been struggling to feed them for a while. And I found out that um, I'd feed them mealworms that were the same size as them. But they wouldn't eat them. So I'd have just cut up big ones. And then they would eat them. I'm going to try to open some of them so you guys can get a better look on them. Got them in this container to make sure they don't escape. Look, if you can get a good peek down there. It's my Davis Pentalorus. It's kind of hard because it reflects, but it has a tiger rump. Still a little spiderling. This one, I did not have to cut up mealworms to feed it because it eats really well okay here's another one of my tarantulas the glaciadora perihubana a pink salmon bird eater these are one of the bigger tarantulas it gets pretty big um there's its dinner right there and if you look closely you can see it abdomen twitching This one is just a little deli cup of dirt. <laughs> There's something in there. It's my Bumbo Kobolka. Kobolka? I forget what its common name is. But it's in there somewhere. You can see its little, little opening, its little cave hole. Next, if you can read upside down, is my Brachypelma smithy. And this is a true Brachypelma smithy. Um, most of the time, Brachypelma homoris are the ones that, um, are more common. They look the exact same almost, but the difference is that, um, Brachypelma smithies have more of a gold in their carapace when they're older. Um, this one's still eating right now, still eating food from last night. Very chill. Um, it's the stereotypical tarantula, the ones you think about with the black and orange knees are the ones that um, are more common. They look the exact same almost, but the difference is that um, Brachypelma smithies have more of a gold in their carapace when they're older. Um, that's this one when it gets older, um, but they take several years to grow, so it won't be a while. It'll be a while till we get to see it. Grown. This one, I'm a little nervous to open it. You can see it grooming in there. Is my Tiltacotl Verdezi. It's a really pretty Mexican trench. So I'm very scared to open the container. I'm scared it'll bolt out. Um, hopefully it won't bolt out. But this one's definitely a little feistier. It's about to get rehoused soon. Next, one more molt, and I'll probably move it to a bigger container. It's grooming itself right now. Very cute. If it will focus on it. But this one runs. This one's quick. Probably my favorite, though. Getting away from the North American tarantulas. This one I'm a little scared to open up too. You can see it on the side right there. This is the Carabina Versicolor. Um, I forget what its common name is. Some of these I don't remember their common names. I just remember the scientific names. I'm scared of this one. This one's a little bolty. It hasn't really been eating. But it just finished molting. You see how pretty blue it is? I have to be careful too on where I angle it. Because this one will fling poop. It'll just shoot poop out. 
but very cute. They get they're really pretty when they're older. And webs up like crazy. It's all web. Here's another one that's pretty much just a container of dirt. Um, like how's my Salmapeus Victory or Victoria? Um, it just stays hidden on there. You can see little little openings on the side. But it eats mealworms. I put them in there and they disappear. Taking a little break from new world tarantulas. This is an old world tarantula. Um, I think it's pronounced Cyrogopus species Haiti Haiti. I'm not opening this one. Ooh, it's too aggressive. It's very fast. Really fast. And it actually has venom that will um, not be fun to deal with. I think its common name is um, Purple Earth Tiger. But it's somewhere in there. This one's scary. I don't open it. I'm barely I'm like opening it when I feed it. Um, just because it's so quick and aggressive. Okay. If you remember the first little spiraling I showed you, here's a older version of it. Lassiodora perihibana. This one, I'm just going to show these bigger guys a little quick. Then here's my Avicularia vicularia, the Atelis pink toe tarantula. Somewhere in there is my curly hair. Right now they're digging. I might show a video later. This is an old world, an African tarantula, um, Ceterogyrus darlingi. It has a horn on the top of its head. Um, and then this one never really comes out. It's another scary one. Samapaeus hermenia, Venezuelan sun tiger. It blocked its hole up, so it might be molting soon. But, yeah. Here is my first tarantula, Thotty, Athana Pelmo Calcodes, Arizona blonde tarantula. My absolute favorite. She, I've had her for almost two years now. She's probably four years old. Um, my favorite. But if you've noticed, I mostly have New World because they're a lot calmer than Old World tarantulas. Um, also, they don't have venom. They just have itchy hairs. I'm not worried. To, they rarely bite compared to the other guys. Last two tarantulas I'll show you is my Hapalopus species Columbia, another container of dirt. It just stays hidden in there. And then this one is my Brachypelma clausi. And that one also just stays in there. You could see its little legs a while ago sticking out, but I guess it went back in. This one's one of my favorites too. They look really pretty once they're when they're older. I forget what the common name is. It's like something pink leg, Mexican tarantula, something like that. Oh, and this one, the common name is pumpkin patch. They look really cool. This one's the Klein version, so it's teeny tiny. It'll probably live in this container for its entire life. But that's all my tarantulas, I think. I think I got everybody. Thank you for listening.